Today, in this video, we will see possible solutions to the error, localhost refused to connect. There may be a few common causes for this localhost error. We will see a few solutions to resolve this error. It may happen that the computer's DNS cache may throw an error when connecting to certain address. In order to fix that, we can try flushing the DNS. To do so, search CMD in the search bar. Click on the command prompt. This is the command prompt window. Here enter the following command. ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS then press enter. This will flush the DNS and the localhost error might have been resolved. Our browser's configuration can be a reason behind this localhost error. We will try to reconfigure the settings of our browser. Currently, we are using the Chrome browser. In the URL bar, we will type this address. Then press enter. Under the domain security policy menu, we will see this delete domain security policies heading. Here type localhost. Then press delete. Now close and restart the browser for modifications in settings to take effect. The localhost error might have been resolved. Note that if you are using any other browser then, you can still use the same address, the browser name will automatically get updated. Here in Microsoft Edge, the name is automatically changed to Edge. Similarly, we can see for the Brave browser, the name changed to Brave. And, for the Opera browser, the name is changed to Opera. The address worked on all the browsers. A firewall is a network security system that monitors and controls incoming and outgoing network traffic based on predetermined security rules. It is an important tool to protect our system from cyber threats. But sometimes it may block completely safe connections and result in errors like localhost refused to connect. We can check if the firewall is the reason behind this localhost error by turning it off. To do so, in the search bar, search for Defender. Click on Windows Defender Firewall. Click on, turn Windows Defender Firewall on or off. Here select, turn off Windows Defender Firewall. Do it for both public and private network settings. Then click OK. Check if the localhost error is resolved. But remember that keeping the firewall disabled will make our system vulnerable to threats. Generally, the default port number for localhost is 80 or 8080. So if we type localhost in our browser's address bar, we are directed to the localhost port 80 or 8080. Here I am using the XAMPP web server for demonstration, and port 80 is the default localhost port number in my case. Sometimes, some servers are not configured to use the default port number. Or, some other application might be using the same port already. In such cases we will see the error, localhost refused to connect. To resolve this, we will first verify if the default port, port 80 as in my case, is free or not. On this XAMPP control panel, we will click on the Netstat button. Here we can see all the used ports on our system. Only the httpd.exe should be using the default port 80. If any other application is already using the default port then, we can configure our localhost server to use another port number. For example, we can change port number 80, to port number 8086. Provided, the new port number is free to use. Check it from this Netstat window. Once we are assured that the new port number is free to use, we first stop the Apache from running, by clicking the stop button. Then we will click this config button. Here we will click, apache, httpd.conf. The file will open for editing. In the text editor, press Ctrl, plus, F, keys, and find the word, listen. We will click find next, till we find the line, listen 80. 
we will modify this 80 to the new port number 8086. Then search for the word server name till we find the line server name localhost 80. Now modify this port number 80 to 8086. We have made modifications to two places in this file. Now save the file and close it. Now from the XAMPP control panel, restart Apache. We can see that the service is now using port 8086 instead of port 80. The localhost should now be accessible using port 8086. So these were some solutions for the error, localhost refused to connect. I hope one of them helped in resolving the issue. If you like this information then, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your time and patience. Have a nice day.